Hello, and welcome to Waterdog Photography Blog. I'm Brooke Peterson. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the white balance in some of your underwater images using Lightroom. The first step will be to open your image in Lightroom. You'll be in the library module. If you look at the top right hand side, you'll see these different modules and you'll click on the develop module. In the develop module, to the right hand side are all of your toolboxes. We're going to use the basic toolbox. You'll open up the basic toolbox and for the white balance, all I'm going to use is this small box right here at the very top of the basic panel. That contains three tools that are great for adjusting white balance. The first one being the white balance selector and it's a little eyedropper tool. The second one says white balance and it has a drop down box over here. I'm going to set this to as shot. And then the third are the temp and tint sliders and those are um, sliders that will help to adjust the temperature so that you can warm up the, the photograph or cool it down and you can also adjust the tint. And essentially that's what's happening when you use these other tools and you can use these to fine tune. If you want to use this drop down menu you can click here and you can try some different things. Um, these are presets so you could try auto and see what happens. In this image it makes it way too yellow so I won't use auto but sometimes that's a great place to start and you can try some of these others and see what happens. I think fluorescent works okay underwater but it, again that's much too blue so we'll start with the image as shot. You can go to the temperature sliders and you can adjust those to warm up the image or cool it down. The same with um, the, the tint. You can bring it up towards the magenta side or down towards the green side. I'm going to double click on each of those sliders and put them back where, where they started. And um, this is the image as I have brought it into Lightroom. Now the tool that I like to use is the white balance selector tool. And so before I use that I'm going to show you in the left hand uh, panel if you open up the navigator you'll see a little icon of your uh, image on the left hand side and as you are making adjustments here you can preview them in this navigator panel. So when I click on this white balance selector and I move it around inside my image you can see what will happen if I click by looking at the icon in the left hand panel. So that's a good way to just visually correct your white balance. Um, another way to do it would be to look at the box underneath the, the eyedropper tool. It says pick a target neutral and at the bottom of that is an R, G, B and a percent. And if you try to find something where those are all around 50, that's a good uh, neutral to start with. Um, those are fairly close so I'm going to click right there. The, the picture looks pretty good. and Now that does make the image a little bit too pink but it corrected all of that green. So since it's a little too pink, what I'll do next is I will fine tune it by using this temp and tint sliders. I'm going to bring this tint down. It's too high. About, about 90 I think somewhere in there. That's a little bit better and I could adjust the tint. It might be slightly yellow. Maybe I'll bring that down just a hair. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I think I like it around 5,500 or so. There. Now that's a much better image than I had previously. Here is a before and after. You can see how green it was and now it's more like the natural color. This happens often in underwater images because you're using, uh, your, well you're taking your pictures through the water column and so the water naturally tints your, your image and um, if you don't have enough light or if you're taking a wide angle um, photograph then sometimes that light will fall off and you'll get some green uh, where you don't want it or some blue where you don't want it. So correcting the white balance is an essential step in post-processing your images. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. If you have, please visit me at Waterdog Photography Blog or if you'd like to see my galleries, please go to waterdogphotography.com. Thank you for watching.